What is going on everyone? Adam Allard here with Pragmatic Ways coming at you with a real quick video today about formatting your code. Because I see this issue happen so often where newer programmers just sort of take formatting code as an afterthought. You know, they're so hyper focused on just programming to get their program and their code working that they don't really take the time to make sure their code looks nice and pretty and it's easy to follow and everything else. You know, like I said, formatting is just sort of an afterthought in their minds. When and that's kind of sad because a lot of times formatting can definitely help you debug a lot quicker and faster and everything else. But it's also just about being a professional developer and doing what you're supposed to be doing, you know, making sure your code is formatted, making sure you have comments when they're needed and making sure you have your unit tests and so on and so forth, um, blah, blah, blah. But I digress. Let, let's get back into it here. Um, formatting code. It's so super duper easy. There's actually three ways I'm going to show you how to format. And the first two ways I don't really recommend. So stick around for the third way uh, on how we sh how you should be formatting code. All right. So the first way obviously is to go up onto the source code menu option or just the source menu option. Click on that. And then we're going to go down to format and just click on that format button. And we'll see how easy that is. Uh, Eclipse will automatically format our code for us. So that's one way, but I don't really like doing that way because, you know, it's a couple steps to get there. We have to move our mouse up to here and then click on a button and then click on another button. You know, it's a couple step process. I'm not really a big fan of that. So I'm going to press Control Z to undo that. I'm a much bigger fan of the uh, shortcut keys, uh, the keyboard shortcuts rather. So if we go back over here, we'll, we will see that the shortcut for this is Control plus Shift plus F. So I'm going to do that instead. I'm going to press Control plus Shift plus plus F, and then that'll do the exact same thing. So that's a little bit better. You know, it saves a tiny bit of time, but really just like a fraction of time. I'm still not even too entirely happy with that either, because uh, both of those methods still rely the burden on us to have to remember to format our code. When like I said from the beginning, uh, not only programmers, they're just so focused on getting their code right anyways, but like everyone, they're, they're really focused on making sure their code is right and clean and everything else that we shouldn't have to be bothered by trying to remember to format everything perfectly. Oh, did I put the two tabs there versus three? Or is this uh, bracket in the right spot or open curly brace on and so forth? You know, we should let Eclipse do all this automatically for us every single time. And actually Eclipse can do it on a save action. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to um, configure Eclipse, which is very simple to do. We're going to configure Eclipse to automatically format our code for us every time we save a file. So to get Eclipse to automatically format your code for you on every save of a file, it's actually very simple. We're just going to go up to this window option here and then click on that, go down to preferences. And then I'm going to go to Java. I'm going to drop that uh, menu option down, go to editor and drop that bad boy down. And then I'm going to go to save actions. And then I'm going to check this checkbox here that says perform the selected actions on save. And then I'm also going to check this one here that says format source code. I'm going to make sure that this radio button is highlighted for select or so for uh, format all lines. And then also make sure that organize imports is also checked. And then I'm just going to apply that and apply and close. And then let's say, you know, I mean, it's already pretty bad, but let's say I have it uh, even worse or whatever, you know, get some really bad formatting in here. Okay. And then all I need to do is press control S and boom, Eclipse is automatically going to format my entire file for me. Okay. So it's not exactly perfect, but I mean, it's a heck of a lot cleaner than what it was before. I mean, me personally, I would have preferred to do that and then control save and it doesn't really, uh, change it back to how that was before. But again, that's also due to the configurations inside of Eclipse uh, for their default profiler, their, their default uh, format profiler, profiler. You could go in and change all those if you want, but that takes a little bit more time. Um, I definitely would highly recommend it if you have the time, you know, go through every option and make sure you agree with that. Even better yet, if you are a part of a team, what you really should be doing is creating a style guide and you should all be creating, uh, let me go through that actually now. It, Cause if you haven't done this, this is something you definitely should do. If you're a uh, part of a team where you have multiple developers working on the same thing at once, um, where is that? We're gonna go to code style here. Again, we're under uh, Java and then we're gonna go to code style and then we'll go to formatter. 
And then right now I'm just using the Eclipse uh, pre-built one, but I could import a brand new one. And it, in order to import a new one, you have to edit the current one and then save that. So I would edit this one here. And then you have all these different options for indentation. And then it even shows you like, oh, maybe I don't want the tab size to be four. I actually want it to be two instead. And then I could apply that change. I would uh, change the profile name to a new one. And then I would export it as a .xml file. And then you could share the XML file with all the members of your team. And that would essentially uh, force you all to adhere to this uh, code formatting style for all of your projects. So it really helps clean up your entire portfolio of projects if you are on a team of developers that works on one or more applications. You know, you can get a common look and feel of the same format or using the same format profiler um, or same format or profile for all of your applications. And you would just import it just like that. You'd import that same XML file that you exported earlier. So yeah, that's all I wanted to get into today. Uh, this video actually even went a little bit longer than I wanted, but you know, let Eclipse do all the hard work for you. Don't try and re have to remember to format your code all the time. You know, let the tools do their jobs. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you like this video, please do me a favor, hit that like button. If you want more great content, smash that subscribe button. If you're not already a member, um, head over to the our Facebook group. You can check a link for that in the description below. It's called the Software Engineering Mastermind Group, where it's filled with just a whole bunch of new and experienced software developers, software engineers, so on and so forth. And we're all just sharing knowledge, asking questions, answering questions, networking, so on and so forth. So it's a great community. Uh, head over there and join. It is free to join. And until next time, happy coding, everyone.